Okay, today we're going to continue with the uh, motion chapter and uh, we're going to take a look at the second part of the topic which is on uh, speed, velocity and acceleration. Okay, so these three concepts, we have some formulas to go through. First thing is we're going to look at uh, speed. Okay, for speed, okay, as you know, the formula is distance divided by time. Okay, speed is distance divided by time. And the units for speed, okay, units will be since distance can be in meter, time would be in seconds, okay. So we can write it as meter s negative one, or we can write as we can write as meter per second, okay. Now if it's in kilometers, then it will be kilometer per hour, okay, or written this way, km per hour. So the SI unit, standard unit for Speed will be meter per second. All right. Okay. Um. For velocity, second formula for velocity. Velocity is displacement divided by time. Okay. So that is the difference between speed and velocity. Velocity is displacement divided by time and displacement has positive and negative. Therefore, velocity can be either positive velocity or negative velocity. Positive velocity means moving forward. Negative velocity means moving backward. All right? Whereas speed only has a magnitude which is always positive. Okay, in terms of the units okay, for velocity, it's going to be similar to speed. Okay, speed and velocity will share the same unit. So, units is meter per second, okay, or kilometer per hour, all right? So, if you are not really uh, used to writing it as meter per second, you can write as meter per second, okay? So, both is correct. Either one will do. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is um, the formula for acceleration. Okay, that one, acceleration. Okay, acceleration is going to be final velocity minus initial velocity Okay, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken. Okay, time taken here is the time taken for the final velocity to reach or for the initial velocity to reach the final velocity. For example, if a car you're traveling is uh, moving at about 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. So, if the car is moving initially at 60 kilometers per hour, that is our initial velocity, 60 kilometers per hour. Now, if you press the accelerator, the car will start to get faster. It accelerates to a velocity, let's say, 100 kilometers per hour. So, 100 kilometers per hour is going to be the final velocity. This is the initial velocity. And how long the car takes to increase its speed or velocity from 60 to 100 is what we call as the time taken, right? So, um, that is how we actually use the formula. Final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken. Okay, now the units for this, because uh, we are going to take SI unit for velocity as meter per second. So, it will be... Final velocity is meter per second. Initial velocity is also meter per second. So, 
divided by time taken is second. So the units here for acceleration will become meter per second negative 2. Or you can write as meter per second square. Okay, because you're dividing by time again. So it's meter per second square. All right. So that is for acceleration. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at for this topic is uh, ticker timer. All right. So ticker timer is a small experimental setup. Okay, you can see like this. This is a power supply. Right, this is a power supply. Okay, then we have this thing which we call as a ticker timer. Okay, this is called a ticker timer, and we have a trolley. So, the ticker timer it will be uh, producing ticks, okay, a few ticks on a ticker paper. Right, the ticks will be at a distance or a time difference of 0 0.02 seconds. Now, the ticker timer it normally has a frequency of uh, 50 hertz. Okay, so 50 hertz means it will hit the ticker tape at 50 times in one second. So, if we take one second. So, if we take 1 second and we divide by 50 because 50 hertz we get 0 0.02 okay that is how we get this value uh, which means that on the ticker tape okay there is a ticker tape attached behind this trolley okay there's a ticker tape attached behind this trolley which when the trolley moves forward the ticker tape will be pulled through the ticker timer and when the ticker tape is pulled the ticker timer will hit a point on the tape to produce something like this Okay, this is the ticker tape and you will get each hit a dot on the ticker tape. Okay, so this is called a ticker tape. Okay, if the trolley is moving fast, then the distance between the dots will be larger. If the trolley is moving slow, the distance between the dots will be smaller. Right, so based on that, we can determine the movement of the ticker uh, timer. Using the ticker timer, we can determine the motion of the trolley okay 0 0.02 seconds is something which you got to remember okay because normally questions they fix it at 50 hertz or they don't give you the value so unless they give you 40 hertz then you have to recalculate 1 divided by 40 so normally it's 1 divided by 50 and it's 0 0.02 seconds that means from one point to another point it takes 0 0.02 seconds okay regardless of the distance so if i have a ticker tape which uh, the dots are really close okay which are really close it is also going to take 0 0.02 seconds between two dots all right now the difference between a ticker tape which you get dots are close and dots are further apart let's say further apart the difference is the trolley here is actually moving slowly and here the trolley is moving fast okay so that is the difference between the movement of the trolley when you observe the ticker tape now if you get a ticker tape with the dots very close but getting further and further okay this means the trolley is getting faster okay the velocity is increasing for this trolley all right so how we are going to do a calculation Okay, let's say this is the distance 8 cm and 0 0.02 seconds is the time between two dots, okay, or two ticks. So, to find the velocity of this trolley, the velocity or speed will be the distance divided by time, which is distance is 8 cm, okay, given here, and the time 0 0.02 multiply by the number of segments or number of ticks so to calculate the number of ticks okay we do it this way we have to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
Okay, so this is 10 ticks. Normally, it's quite standardized. It's either 10 ticks or 5 ticks. Right, so don't count the dots. If you count the dots, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is wrong. So you got to count the segments. Okay, the partition between the dots. So this is 10. We multiply this by 10. Right, so this is 8 divided by 0 0.02 times 10 is 0 0.2. Okay, which we get. Um, 40 okay we get 40 cm per second now normally a unit has to be in meter per second but for this section alone this topic alone for ticker timer subtopic we can accept cm per second but if you want to change it some questions they want it to be in meter per second then you divide by 100 0 0.4 meter per second Right, so this is how you calculate using this formula, right, based on the ticker tape.